Governor David Ige today signed a request for federal help for people who lost their homes to lava. The county estimating the eruption destroyed about 455 homes, the number which could grow even higher, 192 of which were primary residences. Meanwhile, fissure number eight, the one that pumped all that lava that did all the damage, continues to erupt, and lava continues to enter the ocean, creating that big Lay's plume. According to the USGS, about 100 cubic meters per second of lava is flowing out of the vent. Now, to put that into perspective, that is the equivalent of about 26,000 gallons per second flowing out, or 12 commercial dump trucks driving by every second. Think about that. Or even three tanker trucks racing by every second. And then there's the animals. The Hawaii Island Humane Society, along with the ASPCA and others, have formed an animal rescue planning task force. The group is working on ways to gain safe access to areas that are affected by the rescue and by the eruption to rescue animals and pets that are still in there. Many are still left behind. A hotline has also been set up in case your pet is among those that needs to be rescued. It will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. For more information, you can visit our website at khon2.com.